So we're gonna talk today about all the basic tools needed to tint a door window. There's a lot of options out there, but as far as like the essentials, we're gonna break it down to um, essentially categories. And as we go through tinting a door window really quick, I'm gonna highlight each one of those options. So, yep, literally this. So you have a handled squeegee, you will have a corner and edge tool, you will have a shrinking card, um, more on that later. You will have a knife, and there's a couple of options for those that I'm gonna go over in this one. And then you're gonna have essentially a tucking tool because we're gonna leave the door panels on. First thing that we need is a roll of film. And the other thing is a spray bottle. So you can use a spritzer bottle, you can use a pump sprayer, you can use a tint keg. That's gonna be in a completely different video. So are some of the finer points of this video. This is just to again, highlight exactly the categories of tools that you need. So spray the outside of your window, which we have already cleaned. So definitely check out that prep video in the description. And we're gonna unroll a piece of film onto our glass. So our tint is in a big piece and we need a way to cut it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a knife. So this is a red dot knife with a stainless steel blade in it. Stainless steel is always recommended for cutting on glass, makes things much safer. So we cut off our piece of tint. And now first thing I need to do is cut out our pattern. So we're gonna go through with this knife. I'm gonna cut out my pattern real quick. Make some cuts. I should also have a trash can. Okay, so now that my pattern is mostly cut out, I'm gonna take my handled squeegee and I'm gonna use that to fix the tint to the window. So kind of like a light tack so the film's not gonna go anywhere. From there, I'm gonna roll this down and expose that top edge. So here's where the knife options kind of change for me a little bit. So you can still cut out a beautiful top edge with this knife and a stainless steel blade. Been using it for a long time, but if you press too hard, you'll create a little groove in the tint so to fix that, um, I actually have what I would consider a better blade for cutting a top edge. I have a thin carbon steel blade and I also have it in kind of like a more cheesy plastic holder. The reason for that is when I go to press against the film, it's actually not gonna create a groove in the tint and it still cuts a very nice and clean top edge. So just a little personal difference there. You can use either one and get a very nice result. All right, now that we got that all cut out, um, we've only used a couple of tools so far. So we're gonna jump back to our handled squeegee and we're gonna set this up to then shrink the window, which we're gonna have a much longer video about shrinking because um, there's so much more that you need to know about shrinking. But as far as the tools for it, um, on door windows, I only use essentially a heat gun, but it is also good to have a shrinking card. I use these more for the back window, but this is a felt block shrinking card. So when I go ahead and I shrink the bottom of this, all I'm doing is curling the film there, and then I'll take my squeegee and kind of fix it back down to check it. Or you can also use the felt block and you can shrink the individual fingers and then press it down. So we've only really covered a couple of tools so far because you don't actually need very much to tint a door window. All right, so back to our handled squeegee and our spray bottle. Now remember, we've already cleaned this off earlier. Um, so watch that thorough prep and cleaning video if you haven't seen it already. But now we're gonna jump into a different tool here and that is gonna be the Tri-Edge um, X. So this is just a really nice tool that I'll use to swipe out all my edges because you need something with a little farther reach. And this doubles as both um, a cleaning squeegee for me on top of an installation like squeegee slash card. So spray it off, swipe out the sides. I'll do that typically twice. I 
always freshening up just a little bit before you go to install the film. All right, so we'll get this layered in here. Now most of this is gonna be the handled squeegee and the spray bottle. That's the vast majority of it. The little side tools, uh, scrapers and extra things, those help give you an awesome result. But you can see we're just jumping right back and forth in between that. And then again, now when we come back to um, the tri-edge, that's where I would then reach in and swipe my sides because I can't quite reach it uh, with something like the handled squeegee. It just doesn't go as far into a side seal. Swipe. All right. Let's just freshen this up a little bit. All right, now we're coming into basically the last tool that I use on pretty much every door window, and this is the shank. So this is what I use to tuck in my film. Um, and basically, it's a little gasket pry tool. So all I'm doing is sneaking this into the seal. I'm pulling it back. Same thing with this side. I, I start with a couple of corners, pull back that seal, get that front edge started a little bit, roll my film up. And then start it on one side, pull that gasket back a little bit, and then essentially just coast the film down into the seal. That's why I like these things so much, is just they're small, you can fit them in your tool belt, um, and they're just really easy, um, quick tools that make your life so much, so much better. Um, from there, squeegee everything out. So again, I handled squeegee. Squeegee all the rest of the water out. And then swiping tool, like edge tool, the tri edge. Swipe all those edges and that's it. From there, you're just gonna wipe it off. Check over your work, see how it turned out. Um, but yeah, it's a tinted door window. You don't really need very many tools, but having the exact right tool will make your job far easier. So these are all the thing, the basic categories that I recommend. Um, have something for each one of those things, especially when you're tinting like I am. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them below and uh, thanks for watching.